There are differences between various imaging studies uh, that we use. An X-ray is a two-dimensional picture of a three-dimensional object. Uh, so it's, uh, it's using X-rays that pass through the body, and we get decent pictures of the bones, two-dimensional pictures of the bones. X-rays are a good basic screening test to determine uh, generally what the pathology might be. You can see arthritis, you can see occult fractures, you can see pathology which will help you in your treatment, and you may not have to go beyond that. Uh, a CT scan uh, would be the next step if you suspect uh, a fracture that's not being picked up on an x-ray. I like to call it uh, taking salami slices of the, of the spine. You actually, if you think about slicing up a salami and looking at each disc of the salami that you've sliced, that's what a CT scan does. You look at different slices of the spine so you can see different levels. That's a, a decent technique. That was invented before MRIs, so that's been around a long time. It is uh, good for bones, especially looking for occult fractures, tumors in the bones, things of that nature. It is helpful with disc herniations, and in fact, you have to use that. If somebody's got a pacemaker or other metal, you have a veteran from the war and they've got shrapnel in them, you've got to use a CT scan, can't use an MRI. So it's, it's good as a backup type of uh, imaging. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, is the gold standard of imaging with respect to uh, spinal imaging, soft tissues. You get very good pictures of discs. You can actually see the nerves. Uh, you can see the spinal cord. You can see the fluid surrounding the spinal cord. So you get a very good detailed picture. An MRI, I would order uh, if there is a suspicion that there's something causing some nerve damage, spinal cord damage. You got to know what it is. Is it a herniated disc? If, is it, God forbid, a tumor? Is it an abscess? Uh, an MRI will give us that sort of information. So those are the differences.